You have a bell, right? No, I don't have a bell. <laughs> Who the fuck has a bell? If someone, I've been thinking about that, I've been thinking about you, Francisco, and if a cop pulls me over right now and says, you know, where's your bell? I'm gonna say my speaker's playing loud enough and I talk to my detective friend, Kevin Mc something, and I talked to him and he said that that works. Having a the speaker. Having a speaker. Instead of the Instead of the, the bell. He said as long as you have something that's loud. Yeah. Bell's, a bell's not gonna fucking help. If you're gonna hit someone, it's gonna happen. Yeah. What a wonderful day in Manhattan town All the birds and the bees are around the crowds What a Yeah So it begins I live in New York City and I'm a bike messenger. I'm 26 years old. Yeah, I moved here right right when I turned 20. I moved here, so that was like six years ago from Rhode Island. Uh, I want to be a photographer. I am a photographer. I want to make all my money doing photography, but that's not how things go. And I became a bike messenger to make money. <laughs> It was because I, I rode my bike to, like, I was a commuter, I rode my bike to my job, and then Postmates came to New York City. I saw the ad for it. That was also one of the first times that I was an adult and I saw a fixed gear bike and I really liked it. It was a, it was a Chinelli Mash Bolt 2.0, like the director of operations for Postmates when they came to New York, and he had a beautiful gray and black Chinelli Mash Bolt. This was a year, a year into when I moved here. But it was really slow because that's when they first came here. Sometimes I'd be at Union Square for four hours and not get one, one ping on my phone. And after Postmates was Capsule. No, I, I never, I never did, never did Uber or what are the other ones? Amazon. Yeah, yeah. I did, I did Postmates, but I was OG Postmates. <laughs> Right now, I'm working at Mothers, which is one of the oldest bike messenger companies in New York City. Steve Athenios, if I'm pronouncing that right, was the original founder and owner. Uh, he passed away in 2015, I think, and he led the bike protests in the late 80s against Mayor Ed Koch, who put a ban on bicycles in the Midtown area and he led the protests against that, so that was really cool, he's the founder. I get a call and I, we're, we're, no matter what I'm doing, I have to stop and get my manifest out. It's a piece of paper and I have to take it out and write down the run number, the pickup, where I gotta go to get it, uh, if there's any extras, extras being if it's a rush, and rushes can be one rush, two rush, or three rush. Three rush being the infamous triple <laughs> rush. I've only gotten one of those, that was really fun. For Bike Messenger, I use a 1994 GT Edge, which is a triple triangle aluminum frame, a road frame. Uh, the guy who owned it before me stripped all the paint off it. And it's a polished silver. All the logos are off, so I kind of like that. Everyone's like, what is it? It, it, it is, it's a GT, you know, you know it's a GT, but you don't know it's a GT. And I love the triple triangle. Those fucking welds, those welds are, are nickel, even quarter welds. They're just huge, meaty welds. You know that shit's strong. It's got a little dent in the top too, but that's okay. And then for the wheels right now, I have a like a 90s specialized tri-spoke, carbon fiber with an aluminum rim. So just, just the brake rim is aluminum. And in the back, that's carbon fiber tri-spoke because it's sexy and I like the sound, and it's comfortable because carbon fiber absorbs vibrations, so it's a comfortable ride. 
and it's made in USA. Both of my tires are matching Vittoria Corsas, which are $80 tires. 25 mil on both for comfort, because you know, you're on, when you're on your bike for nine hours a day, you know, you can't be riding the, the Gator Skin 23 mils, feeling every little crack and pebble. And also Vittoria Corsas are some of the greatest tires ever made. So there's one gear in the front, one chain ring and then eight in the back. I have three different rear wheels, all with eight speed cassettes. And this is a Shimano Claris derailleur because it's the only modern eight speed derailleur made. And like I said, it's a one by, it's just a one chain ring in the front, eight in the back. I have this, which cost me $130 and it's made by K Edge. It's just, it's just a chain guard, really. It just holds the chain. The chain pops off. Now, all I have to do is that. The chain will never like get actually off the bike. Crank is a 1990s Shimano Altegra crank and the pedals are speed play. Things I might change. Oh, I'm absolutely taking that fucking rack off. The rack sucks. I hate the rack. It's like riding with wide bars. It's the worst thing in the world. I only use it when I get a box just to look cool, just to have that brown box on the front. I don't use it, no. If it's heavy, it's going on my back. You know, it costs like $140 total, that whole chain with the handlebars and put the rack and all that. Helmet is a Laser Z1, boys and girls. 295 for that baby. It's super lightweight, which I like. I don't like feeling something on my head. I like it's super light. And the front is, has like a cutout for your hats. If you want to flip your brim up, it's easy to do that. So I feel like some helmets kind of push it. Now I wear my own, I wear these. These are my glasses. Or I wear sunglasses, which are prescription. If I had, you know, $600, which is what it would cost to get prescription, like Oakley's or something decent with, you know, polarized prescription shit custom, yeah, it's, it'll be like $500, $600 with the frame. That's including the frame. My backpack is a Chrome Warsaw V1 version one and organization is key. I like having my papers in one pocket. My I have a tool section. It's like my own little world. I have like, oh, this, this is the money. This is the thing. This is, oh, the speaker, yeah, UE, which I'm pretty sure is Urban Ears. I think Logitech owns this company, but it's a great speaker. 100 bucks on eBay, they don't make it anymore, but it's the best speaker because it has, it has a strap on the back, a bungee cord that you can strap into anything. And not a lot of speakers have that. They just have like a clip or something. This is like a really amazing feature. Shoes are Physique R4s, speed play clips. Uh, the soles are like, it's like a plastic carbon composite. So it's not full carbon, it's like a half plastic carbon, but it's really stiff, they're really stiff. And I've had them for over two years and I need to get jelly soles or something because lately, lately, my my feet have been really hurting. The last day I worked, I had to take it off, take my, I just sit down and take my shoe off and just massage my foot because I was like wincing. I was like almost, ugh. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. I'd say skate, I skateboard, but you can't make money off, so, you know. I'd go, I'd go back to school. Escuela. Wait, that's not the word for school, is it? And then be like a photojournalist, and I would do conflict zones, like war photography. Ooh. I, I, I wish, I wish I had a fucking walkie-talkie. I might buy a broken one just to look cool. I'm that much of a poser. Right now, I have my, I have a Chrome phone holder. That's it, I used, I used to sometimes put my speaker there, but now I put it on my bike. Ay, Dios mío. Um, it's, no, it's, well, yes, Ka kind of. I have two bicycles. One of them is my work tool, my GT. And then one of them is my plaything, my toy, my Chinelli, my track bike. But sometimes I use my Chinelli to work on because I want to have more fun. So yeah, yeah. So so my my GT is it, it is a tool. Yeah, yeah. I treat it like such. Okay, now from the beginning. 
Yeah, speed or safety. Speed. Speed. Not as much as I, nowhere near as much as I do now. And my dad was a biker and he had a sick fucking bike. Oh my, he had a really nice bike. But no, I, uh, I never thought, never thought I'd be one. Like, for, like forever, if I had to choose one forever, if I had to choose one forever, it would be Fixie. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. It's, it's the, you can do the most stuff on it, and it's, I think it's just so much fun. Brakeless fixed. I never thought I'd say that. It's the best. Well, I have both, so what the fuck? Uh, if I had to choose, it would be, it would be straps, because it's just easier to have wear your own shoes, and it looks cool, especially if you have like a fucking $20,000 bike and you got regular shoes on. Speaker, speaker, never headphones, please. Never headphones, never headphones. You gotta hear when I'm gonna yell at you, you know? You gotta hear it. Uh, no, I mean, okay, if you're in the middle of fucking nowhere, you know, on some long road going like out, you know, the whole day, you know, you don't, there's barely any cars or anything, yeah, wear your, wear your headphones, but if you're in the city, cities, well, you know, you do a speaker. Manifest, my manifest. Either my manifest that's completed that I have to drop off, or just blank manifest papers that. And then number two is gonna be portable battery. Gotta have the portable battery for your speaker so you don't lose your mind. And for your phone, just in case. My phone usually lasts a whole day because I don't use an app. This is special and it should be fixed Sure. What the fuck? <laughs> special edition? Yeah, I don't know how many of those I'm gonna be doing. But this is just for the people, for the people I'll interview. Oh my god. It's so black and nice. Love you, Francisco. <laughs> hasta luego, mi mariposas. <laughs> hasta luego, hasta luego. <laughs> Be happy, do what you love. Just keep doing what's, doing what's fun. Do what's fun. That's what life's about. Yeah.